somebody, amen? So we are in the, we are in the age of Aquarius. Well, Aquarius is a sign of a woman pouring out a bucket of water. But now to understand what she's actually doing, she's pouring out the spirit of a man. Hello, somebody, amen? So that's the age that we're in. And coming up to the year 2000, you began to see a transition in the world. You began to see women coming up controlling this and controlling that and controlling this and controlling that. But we are not under the principalities that are under Christ. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Hello, somebody. Amen. So you got the whole fast, the profession of your faith. God sent Miriam. He sent, he, he sent Deborah, but he did not send him with a Jezebel spirit. What you said? Hello, somebody. Amen. And the order of God is God, Christ, man, woman. Now, God has an order. The order does not change. You don't move the old land mob. Not a, wait a minute. Can, can I go over that? I might have it wrong. In 1 Corinthians, 7th chapter, I'm going to read the 19th verse. That, that's all right. It said, circumcision is not nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of God. Let every man abide in the same calling wherewith he was called. Our not called being a servant cannot fit. Don't be concerned about the things of this world. Cannot fit. But if thou may be made free, use it rather. In other words, you got a leverage point now. You got a, you got a thing you can work with. You can go to another level with it. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord free man. Likewise, also, he that is called being free is Christ's servant. Christ's servant. This is this here. Ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. You are Christ's servant. Not the servant of men. When, when God saved you, when God put purpose in you, He commissioned you, you are Christ's servant. And, and when you come in into the body of Christ, you got to come in and use natural liberty as a cloak of malice. You got to come in with servantship on your mind. I'm Christ's servant. This is God putting a plan together, God has put a house together. My, my job is to come in and be a helper one of another. To have an agape love one for another. To be long suffering, amen? To have the fruit of the Spirit, if indeed I am Spirit. Hello, somebody, amen? Meekly, humbly. Not trying to make myself a bit of reputation, but condescending to men of low degree. I got the prophet, my master. He has given me a talent, and I've got to develop this talent, and I've got to give him something in return. The big tree has got to produce figs for the master when he comes through. Yo, know somebody. You have got to, you yourself are responsible unto God. Yo, know somebody. You have a responsibility. See, you are, see, see the, the circumcision. That, that, that under the law is a group circumcision. The circumcision of Christ is individual as well as collectively. You have a covenant with God yourself, and there is a responsibility that you are held to in that covenant. He's going to provide all your needs according to the riches of glory, and you're going to hit the field and work and complain not. Hello, somebody. And you're going to have something to show your master when he comes. You're going to let him not catch you with your work undone. And without spot and wrinkle. 
Hello, somebody. You ain't going to be spotted up from this world. You ain't going to be done set off in the closet so long and set out so long you done rank it up. Huh? But I must, I must, look out there. The field is already the harvest. I must be about my father's business. Huh? There you is in the flesh, in everybody's business. Want to know everybody's business. Everybody in the world knows you. Everybody in town knows you. Oh, hey, I know them. I went to school with them. Hey, I didn't. But, so you still flesh. You still try to impress people that you went to school with. I'm brand new. I, I don't have that. Hello, somebody. I don't care whether you know me or not. I want you to know him that sent me. Hello, somebody. I want you to see a visible change in my life that he's done in my life. And the only way I can show that is through my humble submission to the servantship that I have. Hello, you know somebody. I got to serve him. And I got to serve him to the day I die. See, 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 I'm not worried about my soul. That's already worked out. That, 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 that was in the agreement. That's already worked out. Hello, somebody. Amen. I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about my soul. Hello, somebody. I got many enemies. I'm not worried about that. I got many chatterers. I ain't worried about that. Hello, somebody. Matter of fact, you see, the devil is a lie and the father is a lie. You say, well, I don't know. Some of them might have been true. The devil's a lie. All of it's true. All of it's a lie. You say, how in the world could you say all of it is a lie? The Bible says that man be a lie. But God be true. Tell them something. God, Christ, died. God justified. Tell them something. He said, Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem. Huh? I could have blessed you. You stoned the prophets. You, you crucified some. You, you, you hello somebody. Huh? He said, he, he said, you won't see me. Y'all don't want to talk. He said, you won't see me. Until you said, What blessed is he? that cometh in the name of the Lord. What do you mean, Pastor? You won't see.